There is new concern tonight for a group of migrants ejected from the Randalls Island shelter who have now set up a tent encampment outside the facility along the East River. Political reporter Marcia Kramer has the story. The remnants of Debbie whipped the tents and tarps of a small migrant encampment, set up a stone's throw from the Randalls Island migrant shelter. Sneakers lined up on the ground, a picnic table with the remains of last night's dinner for this group of Venezuelan asylum seekers. How does it feel to be having to live in these tents when it's going to rain? CBS News New York's Mike Ruiz translates. He said, believe it or not, they're living better outside than they are inside. Inside, they're worried of people robbing them, robbing their belongings, stealing their things. The food is much better outside than it is inside. The only thing is that, yes, the weather. But De Souza's mini encampment is just a small part of the problem. On the other side of the city's mega shelter are dozens and dozens of asylum seekers, many of whom got ejected because the city's 30-day shelter limit ran out. It's an encampment set up for the long haul. Two barbers give haircuts along the East River. Porta potties have been brought in. Two enterprising women tried to capitalize on the storm by selling umbrellas. The city says that 68 percent of the 211,000 people who have come through the city's intake system have taken the next step on the journey. But legal aid attorneys are worried the city isn't doing enough. It's in no one's interest for people to be on the street. And the city should be reaching out to people to make sure they understand what's available to them and how they can access it so that they come inside and are safe. Deputy Mayor Ann williams Ison was asked about the encampments. I have been hearing some uh, reports of encampments of people who probably are leaving Randall's but decided they want to stay and will pitch tents. That's not okay. Migrants told me that when the storm comes, they will seek shelter beneath this nearby bridge underpass. One tent was already pitched there. I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS News, New York.